Hey there guys, TDSL here. here. Um, I got a new knife in today and because I have a new camera now, uh, I thought I'd you know, show you guys the, the uh, envelope and you can't really call this an unboxing. Uh, but anyhow, I thought I'd, I'd show you guys. I've been pretty inactive on the channel uh, lately. But I'm working hard to uh, put up some new content and uh, I hope you're all excited for that. But uh, first, let's have a look at what's inside my uh, package here. So let's, of course, hidden my uh, own information. It's always smart to do if you do a video like this. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, that's tight. It's never easy. So it's gotten quite a bit smaller. No problem. This is uh, some R. There we go. All right. Let's have a look at this. So this is a small Friedrich Hedda knife. Ooh, that's, that'll need some oil. Oh, Jesus. So I can tell that it's an, uh, an older knife because the, uh, the brand has been stamped into the blade instead of like laser engraved. It's got a few blemishes, so I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up. Uh, let's see. You know what, I'll just take you in here for a closer look. Alright, so my lighting is a little crappy here, but this should be better. Alright, so you can see that the brand has been stamped into the blade. Let's see if I can give you an even closer look of that. There we go. That's better. Now you can see that the Friedrich part here still has some good color to it. The Picas has as well. Down here it's been fading a little bit. But still, it's still there. So it's still good. The Germany part has however Pretty much completely faded. That's no problem. We can still identify it. It's not that bad. Let's have a look at the handle here. This is uh, just quite something else. This has been beat up a little more than the blade, it seems. I've got some damage here on the lower part near the liners, which isn't uncommon for these blades. It's a little worse on this side, but. It's nothing too, too bad. We've got some weird tool marks down here. Not, well, it, it seems like it doesn't have a whole lot of rust, which is a good thing. It's got a little lanyard hole down there. It looks like it's got something in it. We might have to clean that out. So yeah, this is a small Friedrich Hedda knife. And I actually have one similar to it. Actually, I have two. I've got the medium Friedrich Hedda knife. Now, I'm not sure which of these two is older. As you can see, they have different constructions. This one has steel pins down the back here. It's got two. And this one has one brass pin and probably a hidden pin down here somewhere. Um, yeah, I also have the large Friedrich Hedda. This is a more recent one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's just barely visible. All right. So you can see that the bottom one is definitely the small version. And the rest, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I'm not sure how old the media, the small one is because we, uh, clearly the brand has been stamped in, so it's a older version. Probably pre-80s. 
but I don't have a definitive date for it. And that's actually something I'm working on trying to figure out. But if you have any information regarding this knife, I would be very happy to hear it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to put out another video real soon. And I hope to see you again on that video. Thank you for watching. This is it. I'm TDSL. Have a nice day.